Can you wait for us? Yes, I'm waiting. This is lesson number 28 for grade 3 mathematics. And we are going to complete first question number 2 for the topic Fact Family Flower. And then we will start a new topic that is Stargate 11. Okay. So question number 2 is which number sentence would you have written? If you were using number pairs for multiple of 100, of 1,000. Finish fast so that I can make you understand that. How to have to be so wait, wait. I am in the tool to all. One second. I finished. Finished, very good. This question mark, that's what I said. No, no. I don't know. Hey, sir, I finished. Finished. Yes, sir. We finished. We finished. Okay. We are asking which number sentences would you have written if you are using a number pairs for multiple of hundred. They are asking to write the multiple of hundred using by using multiple of hundred. We have to make a number pairs for a total of thousand. Okay. So what are the multiples of hundred? Multiples of hundred. No, multiples of hundred are two hundred. Yes, three hundred. Four hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. Six hundred. 700, 700, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, what we have to do, we have to use them in order to make the total of 1,000. How? I'll show you. Suppose I give you one example. I add 100 plus 900 is equals to 1,000. I made one pair. Can you make one more? 100 plus 900 is equals to 1,000. Second one. 200 plus dash equals yes. to 1,000. 200 plus 800 equals to 1,000. Very good. 200 um, plus 800 um, equals to 1,000. Can you make uh, one more? Yes, with ourselves, I can. Yes, please. You can do 300 plus 700. Very good, to very good. 300 plus 700. 300 plus 700. Equals to okay. thousand. One more, please. Uh, one more. One hundred plus. Hey, please go, go up. Say. Okay, hey, please go up. up. Okay, I'm going up. Four hundred plus. Plus six hundred. Six hundred is equals to thousand. It's right in the notebook. Hundred. Which number sentence would you have so, written if you were using so number so one? So in this, one hundred. What in one hundred? It becomes and nine hundred becomes smaller. I tell you, I'm waiting for you. Then I will explain shortly. Here, can you open my mic, Ahmed uh, okay. The question was saying you have to use. Number sentences. I, I'm showing you the question. What the question is saying? The question is saying, which number sentences would you have written if you were using a number pairs for a multiple of hundred? This means uh, which number sentence you write if you were if you use number pairs which are multiple of hundred for a total of thousand, right? So I write multiple of hundred for you. These are like hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, and so on, and then. We need to make a total of 1,000. So I make a pair of 100 and 900. 
they give me thousand. The second pair gives two hundred and eight hundred. They also give me thousand. Then three hundred and seven hundred. They also give me thousand. Same like four hundred and six hundred. Uh, I suggest you to write one more pair by yourself. Four hundred plus six hundred accepted. What you can write? Yes, guys. Five hundred. Five hundred plus five hundred. Five hundred. Very good. Five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. There, please go up. There, please go up. Five hundred plus five hundred. Okay, this is done. Sir, give them one minute. Go up and give them one minute. Sir. Okay, this is the last minute you are having. Then I will go to start new topic. Sir, mm -hmm. go up. Give them one minute. This is the question. Yeah. Want to share the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. We finish. Okay. Finish. Yes. No. no. Yes, Someone said no. Okay. Those who finish, please open page number sixteen of your book. New topic, target eleven. New topic, target eleven. Yes. Page number sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, no, one minute is finished. I'm going to start a new topic now. This is the page number fifteen. Can you see the page number fifteen on your screen? Target eleven. Yeah, sixteen, not fifteen. Yep. This is page number sixteen. Sorry. Yes. Can you see page number sixteen? Yes, sir. It's new topic target 11. All right, I'm going to mute all of you for a while and then I'll explain what you have to do. Yeah, um, sir, can you open my mic? I want to tell you something. You're speaking without opening your mic, okay? Target 11. Target 11. Uh, you can see this uh, board in this board, uh, there are too many number pairs uh, and uh, you have to find the addition with a total of 11 in Let's Investigate. So check out this chart and check the total of 11. Okay, now you will help me to find out the total of 11. Yes, 0 plus 11 is equals to? 11. 11. 11. Very good. So I will highlight it. Mm. It is 0 plus 11. 11. I will highlight it. it. One plus ten, 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 one plus one plus ten, 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 one this is five plus six. Very good. And four plus six is eight. Four plus eight. Four plus seven. Four plus eight, plus eight seven. equals to twelve. Twelve, not eleven. Four plus seven. Where is four plus seven? Check out. Four plus seven. Six plus five. Five plus six. We have completed six plus five. Two plus nine. Two plus nine. Very good. Two plus nine. Two plus nine. This is two plus nine. Three plus eight. Three plus eight. Three plus eight. Three plus eight. Four plus seven. Four plus seven. Four plus seven. Four plus eleven. This is four plus seven. Yes. 
Found out here that in the whole chart, these are the sum of the uh, pairs which are giving you total of eleven. Okay. Now what the question is saying? Use the equal sign to link pairs of calculation with the total of eleven. For example, one plus ten is equal to six plus five. Both result is equal to eleven. Right. What you need to do now? Take out your notebooks and we will start work. Take out your notebooks and we will start work. I'm going to share a new screen with you. This is the new screen. Today is 6 10 2020, and it is Tuesday. Right and this page number sixteen. Your topic is target eleven. Okay. This is guys, page to target 11. You have to write the first question here first. I'm going to write the first question you know, in your notebook. What we have to do, use the equal signs to link pair calculations. Question one, use equal signs to link. With a total of eleven. With a total of eleven. For example, one plus ten is equal to six plus five. Plus ten is equal to six plus five. So this is the question, guys. You have to use equal signs to link the two pairs of calculation, and both results should be eleven. They give the example like one plus ten is equal to six plus five. So you check from the uh, chart that uh, which numbers, which pairs are giving you some of. 11 All right so you can write the answer and i'm going to open your mic participants yes guys tell me the pairs of calculation with a total of 11 like 1 plus 10 6 plus 5 can you tell me one more? Two plus nine. Very good. Two plus nine is equal to zero plus eleven. Very good, guys. One more, please. Eight plus three. Eight plus four. Seven plus four. Seven plus four. Eight plus three, good. Eight plus three. Very 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 good. Eight plus three
This is the answer, okay? This is the answer. You use equal sign to link pairs of calculation. 1 plus 10 is equal to 6 plus 5. 2 plus 9 is equal to 0 plus 11. 7 plus 4 is equal to 8 plus 3. Okay? 5 plus 6 equals to 4 plus 7. Sorry? 5, 5 plus 6 equals to 4 plus 7. Yes, you can write that too, okay? But I'm just writing three. Ahmad Muhammad. Guys, any problem here? No, sir. This is very easy, okay? Okay. So, now we will write question number two. What is question number two? Okay, sir. Find three different pairs of calculation with the same total. Survey, survey, Same total, use the equal sign to link them. Choose the equal sign to link them. Okay. Uh, for a while, I'm going to mute all of you. In question number two, you have to find the three different pairs of calculation with the same total. Like, uh, you were doing in question number one for the total of 11. In question number one, you have to find out uh, the pairs of calculation. The, you have to find out the pair. The two numbers, if you add them, you find the result 11. You start from zero. When you uh, What number you should add in zero to get 11? That is 11, okay. Then you check one. What number you should add in one to get 11 so that the result is 10. Then you check from two. What number you should add in two uh, to get 11, so that is 9. Then you check from 3, what number you should add in 11, uh, in a, what number you should add in 3 in order to get 11, so the answer is A. Same you ask for 4, so the answer is 7. Same you check for 5, what number you should add in 5 in order to get 11, the number is 6, right? In that way, you can find out the different combinations uh, for the total of 11. 5 plus 6, then 6 plus 5, 7 plus 4, 8 plus 3, and so on, all right? So the target 11 concept that uh, is uh, simple that you can find the different pairs of calculation with the, same, uh, with the same total. Same if I ask for 10, can you tell me the 10, uh, the number of uh, pairs calculation with a uh, total of 10? 1 plus 0 plus 10, or 1 plus 9, or 2 plus 8, or 3 plus 7, or 4 plus what number should will give me 10? What number should I add with 4 in order to get 10? So that is 6. What number should I add in 5 in order to get 10? So that is 5. 5 plus 5, 10. If there is 6, what number should I add in 6 to get 10? So that is 4. So this is the concept, right? In the question number two, we have to find three different pairs of calculation with the same total, okay? Let's suppose I'm taking a total uh, 12, okay? Uh, you have to find the total for 12. So I write one for you, and that is I'm writing 0, 1, 2, 11. 0 plus 12 equals to 1 plus 11. I am taking 12. You can take even 10 also. But if, if you can do it by yourself. Okay. Can you tell me one more, please? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Six plus two. Six plus two. Three plus nine. Okay. Nine plus two. Nine. 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 N
Very good. Okay, now this is enough. Okay, I'm writing. Guys, your concept is clear now. Okay. Question number one and question number two, we finish. Any problem? Come to the question number three now. Question number three. Which of these calculations have a total of 11? Which of these calculations total of 11? Which of these calculations have total eleven check by adding adding? Okay. Hey, twenty seven minus eighteen. Finish fast. We will listen another teacher talking. I need to mute all of you then. Which of these calculations have a total of 11? You have to check by adding. A is 27 minus 80. B is 65 minus 54. C is 91 minus 79. And D is 38 minus 27. Right? So how you will do it? We complete, finish, uh, complete it first and come to the question number three. I'm giving you only one minute. Complete it. Just one minute I'm giving you to complete it. Here you were finding three different pairs of calculation with the same total. And uh, if you were asked for a total of, uh, let's suppose, 13, so you can say, sir. 0 plus 13 or 1 plus 12 or 2 plus 11 or 3 plus 10, 4 plus 9, 5 plus 8. And that way you can find out the total of 13 also. Okay, now one, one minute is finished. Which of these calculations have a total of 11? So 27 minus 18. When you minus 27 and 18, so you will get to know, I'll show you here. 27, I write two, space seven, enter. Minus one, eight, 27 minus eight. This is 27 minus 8. And uh, 7 minus 8, you cannot minus 7 from 8. There's 17, 17 minus 8. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, the answer will be 9. And this is not now 2, this is now 1. So the answer is 9 here. 27 minus 8 is equal to 9. Right? So this is not 11. If you add 18 plus 9, so this will give you also 27. So this is not 9. Eighteen plus nine is equals to twenty-seven. So, which, uh, uh, which of these calculations have a total of eleven? Is A is having the total of eleven? Yes, guys. Yes, yes, sir. Sir, how many minutes does the class have? Only five minutes. Yes, does A, does A have the total of 11? No, no. Yeah, no. no. They are Come to the B. Come to the B. Sir, why are there a teacher in our class? Why is there a teacher? Because someone is studying, someone's siblings are studying with you and because of that, you can hear that noise also. Okay, now which is uh, what is B? Sixty-five minus fifty-four. Sixty-five minus fifty-four. So when you minus sixty-five and fifty-four, right? Six five. Five minus fifty four, five minus four. Hello, sir. One. Six minus five, also one. Here we have total of eleven. Here we have total of eleven. Now I will check if I add. Fifty-four plus eleven, and that will give me sixty-five. So, is B calculation is having a total of eleven? Sir, can we leave? We finished up to A and B, okay? We finished the lesson. Oh, because it's English. Yes, it's English. Where are you?